All right, the next section we're going to do is the, the governor plug end plate, which is this section here. Um, there's a couple valves that go into, um, into this section right here. So the pieces that we need are actually my staging area over here. The first thing we're going to put in is the 1-2 governor plug. There's actually two plugs. Uh, they don't look all that, it looks pretty similar from the end, um, but they're obviously dissimilar when you do that, when you look at them in the other direction. They don't fit, um, they only fit one way. Um, this one can fit in either side, but if you put this one, the short one in the wrong side, then this one won't go in the other side. So it's pretty easy to keep track of um, that way. But I'm actually going to do that piece last, because this piece, which is the uh, shuttle valve and um, the one two shift valve I believe is much more complicated so we are going to get all these pieces queued up right here okay so the way this works is there is a, sp a spring that goes in the end of the valve like this and then this cap, um, which they call the shuttle valve throttle plug, goes on like this. The whole thing is going to fit through here, and it's going to fit with a spring on the other end. Now these springs have these little, I guess these are plastic, I think they call them guides. Um, they're not labeled, they're, they, are, they are called guides. And they will actually go through, when you put this valve in this hole here, it's going to stick through, and these, this spring is going to go on the other side of the valve like this. Then there's an E-clip that's going to fit on the end of this right here. It's going to hold it all in place. So, first things first, we're going to skirt a little ATF in our uh, in throttle body, and we're going to coat the valve with ATF. Um, there's my syringe again. Now, let's see if I can do this without making a horrible mess like last time. Um, there we go. I think the that was the first time I'd actually used the syringe. And of course, this, these valve, this valve body is actually open on the top, so um, squirting it in here is not necessarily, um, it's not hermetically sealed, we'll just say. So I'm going to put my thumb on the end here and sort of... I don't know why this thing doesn't want to squirt. Come on, you. One of my kids hate taking medicine. I do this right here, it's fine. Do this. There we go. Okay. Got a bunch of ATF in there. Got some on the table. That's my fingers. I'm going to coat this valve. And I got my gloves off because this one is particularly... I found that it was hard to do with the gloves on. The E-clip I thought was... Uh, challenging, to say the least. Alright, so there's that. Put a little ATF on this sucker. Put a little bit in there. This thing is all going to be bathing in ATF um, before you even know it, once we get this thing back installed. So again, valve has like a cup on the top of it. Put the spring in. The cap goes on the end, and we slide it into the valve body, very carefully. Now we never want to jam these things into the valve body. If they don't go in easily, don't force it, maybe take back it out, and there we go. Put it in another way. If you force it, you're going to scratch up the valve, it's not going to make the seal that it needs. Um, So I pushed that a good ways in. So now we're going to put the spring on. So I think the easiest way to do that is, now this thing's looped, so now it wants to fall out. And I may just go ahead and let that, that piece fall out. Um, actually, yes. There's a trick that I've found when I've done this before.
use Let gravity be your friend. The inside of this valve with the spring sits is not a crucial piece, so I'm not too worried about it. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now I got the valve through again. And I'm gonna just put my screwdriver in here. It's actually my Torx driver. Right into the cup of that spring. That valve, I should say. And now I'm gonna take my spring, these guides that sit inside the spring, and I'm gonna feed the valve through that. You getting that, buddy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, this is where if you had three hands, it'd probably be helpful. Yeah, I can help. No, you're good. I still got one extra hand. <laughs> you worry about the camera. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna compress this spring, and I'm gonna push it. You may have to move your body to get this. I'm gonna push this into my belly, my fat, so the valve stays in place, but the spring, I'm gonna compress all the way flat. Can you see this? No. Come over here. Go over top of me if you need to. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, and now put the E-clip on. There we go. Well, not yet. There we go. Now the E-clip is in. Now, put my spring in the end, and I put the cap in. There we go. That valve is in. Now, we have to put our two end plugs. Um, the short fatty one is called the primary, I'm uh, sorry, it's called the 2-3 governor plug. And it goes in this hole, but remember, we can't even screw this up because they only will fit. One will fit both ways, but one of them will only fit one way. So put ATF on these guys. Slide him in here. And then the other one is called the 1 2 governor plug. And we'll do a bit up. second. I forgot to do one thing. <clears throat> Jeez. I know my wife gave me why she gave me this syringe. So we're gonna put Jeez. <clears throat> why is that so hard to do? ATF in the valve body on those bores. Okay. Now, the last step is there's a cap that goes on this. It's this metal piece. It only fits one way. You can't really put it on the wrong way. Um, Although one side is going to be nicely machined and the other side is going to look a little bit unfinished. Um, now it sits right there and it takes one of these zillion short, these are like, I don't know, maybe three eighths of an inch long T25 screws. This one is nice because there's no springs pushing the plate back off like that last one we did. There's valves on the other side, which want to fight you. And these valves right here really want to fight you. Something just hit me. Probably a bug. It's Texas and it's summer, and in order to make a good video, I've got the fan off in the garage, so we're experiencing maximum heat and minimum airflow. Once again, we'll check the torque spec on these before we actually mount it all up. But that is the governor end plate fully assembled.